students welcome back to rosy maths class today we shall solve a prime puzzle that is from chapter number 5 prime time and this is on page number 127 here we have a grid some numbers are given here and we need to fill up these grids with the numbers but the rule is that it should be all filled with prime numbers prime numbers like 2 3 5 7 we have learned about prime numbers so all these boxes should be filled with prime numbers the second thing is that the product of each row that means whatever we fill up here here and here when we multiply all three we should get 105 same way here 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 three places when we multiply we should get 20 three places multiplied we get 30 and same thing with the column we multiply these three numbers with which we are going to fill up we should get 28 these three 125 these three 18 so that is the rule first rule all should be prime numbers second the product of each row is the number to the right and the product of each column is the number below the column let us get started first look for a cube number cube number means like if i say 1 into 1 into 1 so that is 1 cube or 1 Similarly, two into two into two, so that is equal to two cubed or eight. So these are called cube numbers. Now we see here that we got one hundred twenty-five. One hundred twenty-five. One hundred twenty-five is five into five into five. This we have learned in chapter number one patterns, right? So five into five into five. That means. This column, I can fill it up with fives because it's all five, the same number. So let's fill it up. Five into five into five is one hundred twenty-five. Okay, so one column done. Now we will take this number, twenty-eight, and find the prime factors of this. So twenty-eight first divide by two. Two ones are two. Two fours are eight. Two sevens are fourteen. So two two seven. So for twenty eight we have two into two into seven. Okay, I've taken this number and I will take this number one hundred five because I'm looking for a number here. Okay, a common number. So for one hundred five, same way we will do. So one hundred five if I divide divisible by three, three threes are nine, fifteen, three fives are fifteen, five sevens are thirty five. So this is three into five into seven. And you see here we have a common number seven. This common number we can write here because this is common to both twenty eight and one hundred five. So we will write here seven. Now what is left here for twenty eight we have two and two. So it doesn't matter where we fill up the number. So we will write two two. Seven two is a fourteen. Fourteen two is a twenty eight. We have filled up two columns. Now just this column is left, and it is very easy because two into five is ten. Ten multiplied by three gives thirty, right? Two fives are ten. Ten threes are thirty. Similarly, two into five is ten. Ten into two is twenty. So this will be two. Seven fives are thirty-five. Thirty-five. So what is remaining? Three. So we are done. Now we can just cross check if that is correct. Seven fives are thirty-five. Thirty-five into three, one hundred five. Two fives are ten. Ten twos are twenty. Two fives are ten. Ten threes are thirty. All rows done. Now columns. Seven twos are fourteen. Fourteen twos are twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. This is already we know. It's one hundred twenty-five. Five into five into five, and three twos are six. Six threes are eighteen. So we have filled up the grid with prime numbers, and this is how you need to. So all this puzzle. There are three more puzzles given in the textbook that we will be doing in our upcoming videos. Thank you.